everyone and welcome to Cooking with Salon Lover. Today I'm going to be making a savory and satiating favorite in Sri Lanka, a clay pot pineapple curry. So make sure you stick around, subscribe, turn on that notification bell and well, you know, come on, let's spice it up. So one of the first things I do before actually cooking with the clay pot is clean it. So here, as you can see, I have a small dollop of coconut oil and I squeeze a bit of fresh lime and rub it in like so. And not only does it season, but it adds a little bit of extra flavor. Make sure you do that before you use your clay pot. So when you're choosing the right pineapple for a clay pot curry, you want to make sure that it's firm to the touch and has just a slight amount of give, not a lot. You also want to smell the base of the pineapple and it should be just a little bit sweet. So let's start off by snapping the top off. Oh, I hit the gym. It's my crown. <laughs> so you want to trim off the top and then also the base discard that and trim around the sides. Now these bits, as you can see right here, you want to make sure that those are removed. And I'm cutting these into small chunks. I just love chopping pineapple. First add a teaspoon of coconut oil. Add in the mustard seeds and when they splatter, Next, a sprig of curry leaves. Next, add in the pandan leaf. Followed by a small piece of cinnamon stick broken up, bruised cardamom, and lemongrass. Onions, and a small clove of garlic. So what I'm doing right now is as we call in Sri Lanka, tempering the spices. And this is what essentially um, rounds out all those aromatic spices. It releases the oils, the natural oils in the mustard seeds, the curry leaves, the cardamom. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add in the pineapple. Now I'm going to sprinkle in a touch of sea salt. Then I'm going to add curry powder, chili powder, sliced green chili, and dried broken cashmere chilies. So once the pineapple is coated and mixed thoroughly, you're going to add coconut milk. I don't like to add water in my pineapple curry because about 70 to 80% of the pineapple itself consists of water. I then add in about 200 ml of coconut milk and give that a gentle stir. Taste the Sri Lankan way. Mm. It's deliciously sweet. You can taste the spice and it still has to boil and all come together. It's so going to be a beautiful marriage of spice, heat, and sweet. It does need a little bit of salt, so I like to go slowly and then build uh, to the taste and flavor that I want. And cover and let that cook for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Let's see how this pineapple curry is doing. Looks gorgeous. It has this beautiful tangerine color. You can see the mustard seeds and all the tempering of the spices that we've done throughout. And finish off with some jaggery. If you don't have jaggery, you can add brown sugar instead, but we like to amplify that sweet sugary taste. Well, it's time to plate this gorgeous pineapple curry up. And what I love about this is we actually don't have to plate, replate it into another bowl or dish because the earthenware, the clay pot, is just so gorgeous. Today's word of the day is satiate, to satisfy fully or to excess. Something that rarely or never happens with me. Thanks, Belly. <laughs> So that's it you guys, see you here next time for more mouth-watering recipes.